A developing story in Manhattan Beach tonight where city council members are making a change to the pier fishing ban put in place after a recent shark attack on a swimmer. Tonight, Kick Online's Stacy Butler is live in Manhattan Beach with more on what's happening. Stacy. Kent, ripple effects from that shark attack has the Manhattan Beach City Council taking action. And tonight we heard from the shark attack victim himself. Take a look at this video. It was shot on July 5th. That's when a fisherman on the Manhattan Beach Pier hooked a great white on the line for 40 minutes. A short time later, the same shark attacked a swimmer, Steve Robles. The city passed a temporary ban on fishing, temporary because it's not up to the city to regulate fishing since it's protected by the Constitution in the state of California. California. Meanwhile, those who fish off the Hermosa Pier are complaining that Manhattan Beach fishermen are overcrowding their fishing spot. Tonight, the city council voted to lift the ban. In two weeks, fishing will be allowed again from the Manhattan Beach Pier, but they added ordinances to protect swimmers and surfers alike. Most likely, this shark and any other shark is not going to want anything to do with people as long as there's responsible activity off the fishermen that can be accountable in a responsible way, this should never happen again. No chumming is allowed, no cleaning of the fish on the pier. Uh, a certain type of line, a monofilament line, has to be used, a certain size hook has to be used. So we are hoping to discourage a type of fisherman or woman who might be trying to uh, illegally hook great white sharks. The swimmer Steve Robles says that he hopes that the city will create a marine protection zone in that area since the number of shark sightings have gone up. We're live tonight in Manhattan Beach. Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News.